Hey. Yeah. You got a flat tire on the back left side of the trailer. Do I? Yeah. What do you want me to do? I gotta look at it once we get up here to the stop sign to see. Oh yeah, it's flat, flat. Um. Looks like the other one might go a little flat too. No, it's just the extra weight. Let's. We're gonna have to run back to the house. I'm gonna see if I can plug it. Let's uh, spin around. All right, so luckily we didn't get too far from the house, but the back left one. And that back left one right there. Nails right there on top. Perfect. <laughs> now I'll be honest with you guys. <clears throat> probably need new tires, but we were more than likely gonna sell this trailer after this season. We're just trying to finish up the fall. Cause this is year five, I believe, for this setup. And I mean, it, it definitely has its battle ones. Those equipment defender racks. Uh, the trimmer racks are original. The gas can racks are three years old now. The blower racks are four years old, I think. I mean, everything on it's been on it a long time, so. So we don't need much here, guys, because that front tire is gonna stay on. I just gotta get it up enough we can get it on and off. Got the parking brake on the truck and got a block on the other side. Looks like we had another one there at some point. These are, I think, the third set that I put on. Got That's our main one there, I think, though. It's like a roofing nail. So I picked this bulk up for a reason. It seems like every year we really go through probably 10 plugs between the mowers, the trailers, stuff, just stuff like this. It's uh, constant. Can't always be running out to buy new tires. But we'll get her patched up. I'm not going to worry about those other two for now. It doesn't seem like they're leaking. And I'll probably destroy the tire trying to pull them out. Looks like they've been there a little while. Sounds like the trash truck's coming. All you do is just slide that through there. Kind of even it up. <laughs> Starting to go. <sighs> Get it down in there quite a bit. So we're probably gonna put, probably look for about 37, 38 pound. Typically run about 37, 38 in each tire. You'll notice on your tires though, your inside, your driver's side will wear a lot faster. Like the front one on this one is, it's bald bald. This one's not great either, but we're gonna run it till the wheels fall off, right? Mm -hmm. See where we're at. 
37 on the dot. So if TQ wants to come in here, I know some of you might say, oh, the trailer's still in great shape. Well, that just kind of gives you an idea of what's kind of leak lurking underneath. That's a hole straight through that fender, guys. And uh, I'll be honest with you, taking it out last winter didn't help it much at all. It uh, it put a, put a workout on the trailer. That salt really ate this thing up. Now she's ready. TQ engaged. <laughs> totally <laughs> just kidding, guys. Officially, a good morning to all of you. Good morning. How's everybody doing? I'm doing great. How are you? When I say everybody, TQ, that means you as well. I know. I said I'm doing great. And you guys as well. So real quick, couple things. I know we kind of got off to a rocky start this morning with the flat tire. It's kind of like, hey, y'all took a vacation. Now you're going to have to work double time to... Exactly. Uh, make up for that little getaway we had anyways it gives us a little reminder that we're business owners and we have to be adults and have responsibilities and yeah for sure but what i wanted to hop into is while we were away we turned all electronics off other than when we shot a few videos that you guys have already seen when we were on vacation but that being said, we ran out of tickets that we had limited because we didn't think we were going to break the number for the Spencer Pro event. So people were emailing and messaging that week that we were gone saying, hey, I'm trying to buy tickets and I can't get tickets. It's saying there's none available. So we had the deadline originally set at the 10th and then we were going to go two weeks after that uh, at the full price, the 199 price. With that being said... We understand a bunch of you tried to get in last minute and get your tickets. I understand people don't know if they're gonna be able to get off with snow, weather, whatever. So what we did is we went ahead and extended it to what, this Friday? Yep, it's the what, 18th, 16th? I can't even remember now. Whatever this Friday is, okay? Roughly a week before Thanksgiving. The 18th. The 18th, yes. good job, TQ. <laughs> so the tickets are back available. Sorry they ran out. We didn't anticipate you know, going through 37 tickets while we were gone, but they went really quickly. Anyways, they're back available to the end of this week at the discounted price, thanks to Kohler Engines, 99 bucks. We hope to see you guys there. After that, they're going to full price for one week and then cut off. We have to get food and everything ordered. But as of right now, we need to get to work, huh? We do, we have a lot to catch up to, so uh, let's, let's go. go. So we are here at the duplex. We're gonna start here and work our way to the majority of them, which will be over here. And then we'll do the whole vacky vac. gonna pay for taking that vacation aren't we we gotta turn that off <laughs> we are really really let me get it back oh my goodness
guys so the hard part is is getting this up in here on top of there we can take the hose off but i'm afraid if i take it off i'm not going to know how to get this clamp back on here because this all runs like on a i don't even know what it is it's it's weird it's all you start taking stuff off here to get to this pulley which would make it really easier if the tube was out of the way uh it's just a mess so what we're trying to do is have her feed it up through to me and i'm going to try to slip it on by hand so. go ahead babe i'm gonna i can't see anything but if you can just get it to my hand keep coming up can you come out in front of the pulley you're at the bottom of it Am I doing anything? No, you're kind of just coming up towards the bottom. We're running right into the bottom. Hold on a second. I'm going to grab the grabbers. Hold on a second. All right. Hold on. Don't pull yet, okay? All right, pull down on both sides at the same time. Good? Yeah. All right, we're on. So I'm not sure if I got you guys that shot or not, but we're on. We use the, uh, the grabbers. <laughs> so now we just got to put it back onto the mower and hopefully we're back in action. guys so this shield technically doesn't have to come off unless you throw that belt that's behind there i thought we would get access up into there but we didn't but we figured it out you just gotta go through the tube yeah or take the tube off but i would try to go through the tube first pretty much once you drop that down through there it it just flows yeah nicely Quick so. and simple this is your tensioner pulley right here so it's got to go on last Sean and TQ's me mechanic shops today. Not what I like to play every day, I'll be honest with you. All right. Please, dear Heavenly Father, let this stay together. There you go, put that one. Let's give her a go.
here for a minute, yeah.
All right, so what we like to do is get the majority of them out of the road because we have to go out into that intersection which there's never much traffic. But we like to get the majority and then we'll come back in real quick with the blowers and get what you see the excess here. One little breakdown and uh, got him knocked out. Did put us behind. Well, I should say two major, two breakdowns. <laughs> you got it, Beth? Yeah. Did you get the other one up already? Yeah. Okay. So two breakdowns, but we got them taken care of. I didn't like the way the other one, even though we don't mow her anymore, uh, I didn't like the way it looked once we got done because there was just so much wet leaves just stuck down in there. So we decided to do a complimentary mow. Uh, I think it just looks a lot better. And she's got a little bit left on this one. I don't think she'll probably have us come back. Yeah, hold on to my stick. <laughs> yeah, hold on to my stick, TQ. But good job, babe. As you guys can see, I went through and mowed it out real quick. I think it turned out a lot better. Just got some of those, you know, soaking wet leaves up out of it. I got it cut down to two and a quarter. It was probably, I'd say a solid 10 inches, but. <laughs> Just uh, gotta stick to it. The uh, I do want to say though, hey Sean boy, Dad's gonna have a talk with you. So we bought him that snow stuff that you spray on the windows. You see that stuff right there? Now don't get me wrong, it'll come off. But if that had been uh, spray paint, that could have been a whole different ball game, if you know what I'm saying. So gonna have a little talk with him. He's not in trouble, but definitely gonna let him know. Aerosol cans are no go on the vehicles. So we got to this customer's property and yet again, now the backpack didn't want to start. After probably about 20 pulls, I got it to fire up and it ran fine afterwards. But yeah, I'll tell you what, just one of those days, you guys know we all have them. You just uh, hope you don't have very many. And uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say. So we're just gonna get this job.
so all that rain we got if you didn't notice the passenger side of the dump trailer sank way back there so this ground is super super soft right now back in the woods here we've been backing in and out of here when it's dry but this is the first time we backed on it since we had any rain and it sank like a tank yeah this is kind of like a clay mix right now yeah sticking to your feet we'll make uh changes as we go maybe even do some kind of pad eventually uh i do like kind of this area here because then we'll just be able to use them around the property for compost or whatever we decide to do with them but yeah, yeah we got it done strong uh strong finish to a slow start yeah it was rough but you know what we got some work done we feel great now let's go I'm glad you feel great tq i feel great i'm not gonna lie i kind of feel it in my right thumb a little bit i don't know what What'd i did do? to it it's a little stubby stub enough whining though hope you enjoyed <laughs> today's video as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys talk to you later tq out peace Remember Bye. the link to the Spencer Pro event is down in the description. Get your tickets till Friday. That's right. Let's go.